Welcome to Substation 33, where we'll teach you to take this and turn it into a 3D printer. Let's get started. We're going to wire, we're going to connect this, this cable that we've just made up to the wire that we've just unplugged from the NEMA 17 and we've just measured to make sure we've got the right, we're going to use the right, right pins and right coils on it. So I'm just going to prep this first. This is the connector on the NEMA. So we're just going to chop. Don't need too, too much length there. We're just going to chop it in half. Might be able to use the other, other end of the connector on another motor. So put that aside. So we're just going to chop off the wires that we don't need. So as we just measured with a multimeter, um, we, only, we don't need this, this black wire and this white wire. So I'm going to get cut off. So we've got our four wires set up now. So that's going to be one, that's one coil and that's the other coil. So just going to separate our other wires a little bit. So we're going to access it. So one coil, the other coil. Strip back about uh, five to five to six mils same on the connector twist up the wires Do the same on the, the main piece of wire. Grab some 2 mil heat shrink. Now we've purchased 2 mil. It says 2 mil on the heat shrink itself, but it's closer to 3 mil. Still shrinks enough though. So it's going to cut four pieces to go over those four conductors. And you probably want to double the length of the conductor that you stripped off. So it's a good 12, probably a good 12 mil there, even longer. So cut four of those. And before we put those on, I'm just going to tin up the wires. So just clamp it if you have a clamp. Makes it a lot easier to hold. And also tin up your connector. Put your heat shrink over your wires. Don't forget that step, otherwise you have to desolder it again. Which I do all the time. And probably safer just to do one wire, just clamp one wire at a time and solder it. Doesn't matter which, which one you choose. Just choose a solid blue. So we've got enough solder on each, each part to do the soldering. So we don't need to add any extra solder. So the second wire of that coil. So we'll use the other wire on that pair, which is just be blue-white. It's not clamping properly. I don't have enough solder on it.
to check everything's nicely soldered. And slide up your, your heat shrink. Actually, I'll do it properly. I'll do it one at a time. So you want to make sure you've got enough insulation on both sides of the joint. Grab your heat gun. Make sure the others are out of the way. So just slide it up and down just to make sure you're over the center. Should never have any exposed conductors. Should end up shorting out, blowing up the electronics. that's that end done next we're going to do the the other end thanks for watching and we'll see you next time